Now that we've created our barricade blueprint, we need a crowbar, effectively a key, so to speak, to unlock the barricade, to, to pry it open. So this is a pretty painless, simple process here. We're gonna to go to the content browser. We're going to go to the BP key parent. We're gonna right click on this and create a child blueprint class. We'll call this BPC crowbar. Okay, we're gonna open this up. There's not too many changes we need to make to this actor. We need a visual representation of the crowbar. So the static mesh, we're just gonna grab the component here and we're going to assign a proxy mesh. This is a proxy mesh of a crowbar that I made out of geometry brushes. Another tool of the editor, another good use of this. So we're just gonna take this to represent our crowbar. So when we see it in the world, not only does the text tell us to pick up the crowbar if we want to, but we can tell just by looking at it that it's a crowbar. We're also gonna change the text render field here. So when we get within the interaction radius, it says something useful like take crowbar. So we know what it means to interact with this object. And I will compile and save this. Now that we've created our crowbar actor, let's do a quick test to see how it works in the world in conjunction with our barricade actor. So I'm going to place this in the world here. I'm going to place it at a height that might represent like about where it is on a table, just because it's more interesting to find it on a table than finding it on the ground. Uh, so once it's in the world here, we can look for its property actors to unlock. That means which barricades do we want the crowbar to open. We can use the eyedropper here. Once we add a, another field to the array, we can click here and we see that it's filled with the BPC barricade in our level. So also we wanna make sure, remember we checked uh, is locked at, as false just so we could test it earlier. I'm gonna put it back onto the default setting. So let's see what happens when we test this now. To the left, we see our barricade blocking our way. To the right, we see our crowbar. So if we go to the barricade, we see inspect. We click interact. It says need crowbar. So we know we can't get through here without finding the crowbar. So we look around a little bit and then somewhere in the level, we find the crowbar. We get near within the interaction radius. It says take crowbar. We take the crowbar and then we know we can go back to the barricade. Now it says use crowbar because it knows we have the crowbar on our person. So we click interact and the barricade falls to the might of our crowbar and we're able to progress past it once we knock it down. One last tip about uh, crowbars and the barricade actors is assuming we have, maybe in this particular level design, we decide we want the presence of uh, barricades to be really frequent. We want them to be covering up doors and windows like everywhere we go if that's the case and we don't want to have to like be concerned about manually picking you know manually picking uh references to all the barricades in the level we can do a quick little uh trick here in the crowbar's construction script to find um all the barricades in the level we can just do this get all actors of class and this won't run at runtime. This will run um, while we're actually working in the editor. Let's find barricade and we'll select it here. So what we'll do is we'll set this to, we'll promote this to a variable. No, actually we won't promote it to a variable. We'll just look for um, actors to unlock, which is our variable from the parent class. And we'll set actors to unlock to this. What that means is you won't actually manually have to set anything. This construction strip will do it for you. So what, how this works now is, let's see if I can make this work how I'm discussing here. So I'm going to delete this. Actually, no, that's not too bad. Uh, okay, so it's automatically finding this barricade. If I make a new barricade, say I just uh, all dragged it to duplicate it. And we just move this a little bit. Actually, we do anything to the actor, including clicking a button, moving it, it will refresh the construction script and it will populate this array with any barricade in the level. So that actually allows us to not have to worry about finding and connecting this crowbar to every barricade in the level because it is kind of a universal opener of the barricade. So that's something we can do in the construction script to make that much more efficient.
I'm just going to delete this and it's warning us because it's part of this. But now that I move it, it should refresh and make the array include only the only other barricade in the level. So now we're all set with our crowbar and barricade and we're set to use that as determined by just level design intentions or anything else that's in the level design document.